Good day, South Africa. My name is Zabakha Mahori. Now, as you know, Edbook always covers the most fun, most informative events. Now, quite frankly, today is no exception. We are at the Space Expo here in Santon Convention Center, and I am on the flight stimulator. Oh my gosh, it is so incredible. I don't know how to do it, but I'm, I'm literally taking off right now, I think. <laughs> Sia, how are you doing on your side? Buddy. I just crashed right now, like you won't believe this. This has to be the most intricate thing that one has to do. Guys, flight simulation is fun. It's, it's like playing a computer game. Like you see now, these guys, these guys have started it again. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> ah, th th this is so much fun. But in terms of having, having, having to control, like you, you need some serious uh, piloting skills or oh, someone just Someone just abandoned their aircraft right now and parachutes, parachutes everywhere and here I am going chitty chitty bang bang on these guys. Ah, there we go, there we go. You know how we do. We need to show them that South African military is on point. Yeah, perhaps I need to enlist in the military. What do you, what do you think, Limsa? Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should. But then again, yes, we are here at the Santon Convention Center Gateway to Space and we are learning about the wonderful the wonderful things, <laughs> uh, you know, all the wonderful discoveries that have been made uh, from outer space and in the interior. So in case you are asking, uh, what am I doing in the flight simulator? Well, you first need to be a pilot before you can be an astronaut. And remember that astronauts, they are a team. They work in a team. So as you can see, hey, as, 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 you, as you can see the buttons in here, uh, it requires some real brains, okay? We require real brains, and you know, if you can cope, then you really need a team. But otherwise, stay tuned, because we are going to have loads of fun right here at the Santon Convention Center. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. It's too sensitive. Ah. Okay, and that's that. And that's that. Probably more of a crest. Okay, but hopefully you'll go to school, you'll do your maths, and you'll get your pilot's license, and you'll do better. So we are still here at the Santon Convention Center, and right now I'm here with Sino and his friends from Kuro, Kuro Rodeplat. I said it right, no? yeah. yeah. And right now we are inside this capsule. I'm sure you're also wondering what's going on. They have been feeling dizzy for a while, but let me just quickly ask them. Why are you here? What is it that you, uh, what, what is it that you are seeking at this place? What is it that you want to learn from this place? I want to know about the space and the wildlife at the um, in space. Um, uh, I want to know how it feels to be on the moon because I'm always cautious about that. Okay. So, did you know that they actually planted vegetables in space? No. You didn't. No. So you learned something new today. Yes. So let me uh, another thing. What is uh, what is it that has amazed you so far about today? What is it that got you like wow? The toilets. <laughs> <laughs> you saw how those toilets work. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in case you didn't know about how these toilets work, the toilets in the space shuttles, they work with a vacuum uh, suction power. So you really need to know how to aim. If you don't know how to aim, <laughs> I think you all know what's going to happen. <laughs> Some things are going to be floating up in there. But otherwise, thanks for chatting with me, guys. And I hope I'll see you soon uh, on the other side where there are fun rides and stuff. Stay tuned because there is more. As you can see, uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit dizzy as well. So I think I'm going to go out. So. What you can see behind us now, yeah. uh, as you can see over here, mm -hmm. this is the Merco module. Yeah. So the, 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 the actual replica is the, the life size scale, it's that one. That, that's where we were at. That's where we were feeling a bit kind of dizzy. Yeah, where we and didn't find any gravity. Yeah. Now, this is the full model. Well, it's not the original one. This is a scale model, of course. Mm -hmm. But this, this just goes to show you how big the entire uh, spacecraft is. I mean, mm. just, just look at this. And it is said that this space station here was orbited from 1986 up to 2001. And 
the one we were inside, the, the core, the core itself, yeah. it served as a living space for those who went up first in 1986. So you can imagine the various types of research that has gone through the ages, I mean yeah. since 1986. Imagine. Wow. How long so, ago was that? 1986. Yep. Here's a secret. I wasn't yet born in 1986. Oh. So friends, what you see behind us is a model of the Lunar Rover. Yeah. Okay, it's a Lunar Rover model. This is actually one of the things Stay Long Horan Sega Batla today. Yeah. Um, four of these actually went up to space and apparently only one has returned. Alright? Voila! So, you do know that specimens of the Moon and Mars are among the rarest substance on Earth. Apollo astronauts brought back to Earth some pieces of the Moon while other pieces arrive uh, on Earth as a result of asteroids slimming into the lunar surface. Now, these impacts launch chunks of the Moon into outer space. Some of these pieces have Earth intersecting orbits and some are the rarest type or they become the rarest types of the meteorite. Now what you're staring at here right now is one of the rocks, one of the fragments that are from the moon and I'm actually touching the moon. See you right here and we are still here at the Santon Convention Center and I'm joined by Miss Ladine Liebenberg. I said that I pronounced it right, yes, right? Oh, <laughs> my bad. I'm bad with names. <laughs> so please tell me, I understand that the gateway to space, this is the first time it's, it's been here in South Africa. So yes. what inspired the move to South Africa? Well, um, space has always been very fascinating. I mean, to everyone, doesn't matter what age you are. And um, it's been in America, in Huntsville, Alabama, it's in that center. And they decided they wanted to show the world, you know, that the, all the artifacts that they have over there, it's like, it was just like a museum, you know. So then they decided while they're doing a um, traveling exhibition, they put everything together and we shipped it over in 17 containers. And yeah, it's been great so far. I mean, everyone's very interested in it. We've had quite a few uh, pensioners because, I mean, they were there and listen to the moon landing on the radio. Yeah. So, and then we also have little kids that wants to become astronauts. Yeah. So, yeah, so wow. it's very nice. Fantastic. And I've, I've, I've seen the kids here and they love it. Like, they absolutely go wild over the flight simulators, the five degrees of free. Everyone seems to be having fun. So, in addition to all the artifacts that were shipped to South Africa, okay. uh, what other, from the South African perspective, uh, what are the milestones that uh, are you, show, you are showcasing here? Well, um, so the different the Department of Science and Technology, um, they came on board and they brought the, like, the South African satellite to show what we have developed in, in our country and to showcase our intelligence, you know, and, and what, how far research has gone um, like on our shores. Um, so we have SANSA involved, Hartrau, um, the department, well, as I said, uh, CPUT and the NAL, which have a very nice um, exhibit, little exhibit yeah, in the I, front I, as I, well. I saw the aircraft there, it's quite yes, nice. Yes, yeah. Now, I read that in uh, Budapest, is it in Budapest, yes. Hungary? Yes. Uh, they set the record for the most visits per month. That's so are you looking forward to beating that yes, record here in South Africa? No, we definitely want to beat it. Um, they actually wanted to keep the exhibition longer there, uh, to extend it over there, and then they couldn't because it was already booked on the ship to come to South Africa. So they stayed open until one o'clock at night to, you know, just because there were so many people that still wanted to see it, the exhibition. But then, um, yeah, they had to close down, break, everything down and bring it to South Africa so we're really hoping to beat that record. Wow. Yeah. So as a project manager from your perspective on that perspective at the top how has it been your overall experience? No it's a, it's a great experience um, to work with the Americans it's quite interesting um, they're a different nation <laughs> um, but it, everything is very organized from their side they're very professional and they know what they're doing so it's actually employees of the USSRC which is the Space and Rocket Center in America the employees, the employees that work on these things they are the guys that came over to do the setup oh, okay. 
So they're not just any random people, you know. Um, we had Eric Free, which is, he actually trains pilots on these flight simulators. And he was trained himself on it. They work at, um, at a space camp where Elon Musk graduated from, you know. So they actually know their stuff. So it was very interesting to work with them because they, they're not only like part of the exhibition, they like love the exhibition, if you know what I mean. Wow, wow. Now, interesting times indeed. If you haven't been down here to the Senton Convention Center, right here at the gateway to space, make sure you get here.